This cannot be happening. I must be high on sleeping pills. I thought you stopped taking sleeping pills after you wrecked the last car while sleep driving. Well, maybe I'm still in the last car hallucinating. Did you think of that? May I be so bold as to make a suggestion? I didn't know you could get this high. I can modify this vehicle's steering and propulsion systems so that you can reverse course and seek out the floating house. You can do that? It would be my distinct pleasure. Can you charge my iPod too? Why haven't you left yet? If you'd stop distracting me, we might actually kill this guy. Nick, this house is floating through the void. We saw a car float past the house. We met a freaking alien! What are you not understanding? I'm not understanding the part where you went completely mental! Cover me! Look, why don't you just come over? I'll be done by the time you get here. I am trapped in a house that is floating through the void! That's why! Look, I tried to get live satellite footage of the house online, but you can only get real-time images if you're a spy. I emailed my mom and asked her to drive by, but she won't. Because she's watching that reality show about the pygmies who swing dance underwater. Here's the deal, Nick. I don't expect much out of this relationship. I really don't. What? I mean, I like you quite a bit and you're pretty reasonable in bed. I even sort of like playing video games with you. So let me be very clear. If you ever want to see me naked again, you will get your ass over to my sister's house immediately. Understand? Are you mad at me? Why would I be mad at you? For pushing the button. You're mad at me. For the record, I have actually been madder. When? When you got so drunk and tried to kiss Sicily at our wedding reception? You're sisters! You look alike. And it's dark and there are disco lights and I'm drunk. I'm sorry. I'm really... Really sorry. I'm not mad. Maybe a little. That didn't take long. We are decisive when we are in motion. May I come in? He's back. To the lady of the house, as host of our negotiations, we offer a gift as a sign of good faith and honorable intent. It is called a capture glass. While you wear it, your most precious memory will be stored inside of it, perfectly intact, preserved against the steady attack of time. It's beautiful. As are you, my lady. We are only familiar with one quadrant of the artifact. Few maneuvers can be executed with just these controls. We could execute the flatness, for instance. However, I do not think you would survive long in two-dimensional space. However, there is one possible maneuver that seems uniquely suited for your plight. It is called the catapult. Ah, the catapult. Tricky to stick the landing on that one. Tricky. The, the, the catapult it channels the energy of the artifact into a form of thought-based propulsion. If, if you can envision your home with a deep clarity and intent, the catapult can take you there. Do we trust him? I trust him. That's because he gave you a shiny bobble. He can't execute the maneuver without coming with us to see what happens. Which probably means he expects to live long enough to collect his end of the deal. Or he expects this maneuver to kill everyone but him. That's just mean-spirited. I say we do it. I agree. <sighs> Whatever you guys want. Adrian? You'll see someday. Men in iridescent jackets are trouble. Let's do it. Excellent. 
You must clear your mind of all other thoughts and desires. You understand? Think only of your home. And then tap our heels together three times? No, that would not help. I do suggest holding on to something stable, however. It is. Oh my god, on a deep fried chicken platter! We're gonna make it! This is where you people live? Seriously? 